Did Jesus have a beginning? You're not going to read the rest of the verse? I'm dealing with the verse you asked me to answer. No, no, right? I'm asking you to read the rest of the verse. You said that this verse is talking about Jesus is the creator of all things. He has no ending or no beginning, right? Yeah, the son. No, he does not. He's God. Was Jesus created? No, Jesus was not created. Really? He's the eternal son of God. Yes. He was, he was born from a woman. And his physicality, yes. But he yeah, was not so he created. But, 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 I'm he sorry? had beginnings. We're talking about the eternal son of God. Where does it say that Jesus is eternal? John 1.1. 1, 1. Turn there. And I'll put it up on the screen. Who's speaking in John 1.1? 1, 1? Is that Jesus speaking? Well, Jesus was speaking in Revelation 1.8, right? Yeah, I get you though. Okay, then let's let's let's, let's stop with the foolishness then. Because you nah, can't we, ain't done, we, ain't done, we ain't done with that. All right. Oh, we, now we're definitely done because you already made yeah, you already conceded it's, it's that. Too, it's too many. Genesis. It's too many uh, excuse me, John chapter. So remember that Psycho Woods said that the Son was eternal, so we should be able to find him in these scriptures that we about to read in the Old Testament and the Tanakh. Right. Let's see who created. Let's see who the Old Testament said created the heavens and the earth. Let's see, can we find Jesus doing this in the Old Testament? Isaiah 45, 11, thus says the Lord, the Holy One of Israel and his maker, ask me of the things to come concerning my sons. So God or Yah or Yahuwah, Yahweh, However you want to say it, he had more than one son. Israel was his son, but he had many sons. And concerning the work of my hands, my hands, I, I command ye me. I have made the earth. Who have made the earth? Yah has made the earth and created man upon it. I, even my hands have stretched out the heavens and all of their hosts have I commanded. Right. This is Yah doing this. This is Yahuwah doing this. This is not Jesus creating anything. Right. Go down to Isaiah 45, 14. It says, they shall make supplication unto thee, saying, surely God is in thee and there is none else. There is no other God. There is one God. There is one Lord. And it's not saying that it's the son. It's not saying it's Jesus. It's saying it's Yah or Yahuwah. It's not speaking about Jesus over here. And what John said over there, that's what John said. That's what he made up. Go to Genesis chapter one. Do we see Jesus or the son? You said the son was eternal. So we should see him in Genesis chapter one. Where is he identified, sir? It says God created the heaven and the earth. It says his spirit was his spirit was there hovering over the waters. It says that God said, let us make man in his image. Who was the us that God spoke of? There was no Trinity. Because God said that he is one. We just read it. Right. So where is Jesus? Where is the son identified in Genesis chapter one? We see his spirit. We see God creating the earth and we just read who said that they created the earth and the Tanakh? It wasn't Jesus. It wasn't the Son. We don't see the Son or Jesus anywhere identified in these verses. If he is the eternal Son of God, Son of God. where is he at? Hey, since you love Psycho Woods, since you love John so much, why didn't you read him this verse? John chapter 20, verse 17. Jesus said, touch me not, for I have not yet ascended to my father. But who, he, who did he say the father was? He said, I ascend unto my father and your father. And who is the father? And to my God and your God. So who did Jesus say was God, sir? Is he going to himself? Because you don't believe that the, the father and the son is the same. You believe they distinct. But God is only one. 
Jesus said he was going to his God, the God who created all things in the Old Testament. He said, I'm going to my God and your God. Psycho, Psycho. Why didn't you show him that verse in John since you love John so much? Who was the begotten in the Old Testament? Who was the begotten son? In Psalms chapter two, verse seven, God was speaking to King David. This is written to King David, right? King David is writing the Psalms. He says, I would declare, I would declare the decree the Lord has said upon me, said unto me, the Lord is speaking to King David. He says, you are my son. God is talking to David, not Jesus. He said, you are my son, David. And he said, this day I have begotten thee. Where do you see Jesus in this verse, sir? This is God speaking to King David. Psalm chapter two, verse seven. If you go down to verse 11, it says, Serve the Lord with fear. God is telling King David, who is the begotten son, that he just said in verse seven, he says that King David should serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. So if you saying that this verse is talking about Jesus, then you would have to say that Jesus would be fearing himself if he was God, correct? Because it says you should serve the Lord with fear. So would Jesus be serving himself if it's only one God, if it's only one Lord? But you say that God is three and we don't see three anywhere in anything. Trinitarians cannot count, bro. Where do you see three in anything? It's no three. It's only one. One God, one Lord. What the people need to know that follow this book is they were dishonest when they created Jesus, right? The narrative behind Jesus, they took things that was attributed to people in different entities in the Old Testament and they compiled it and made it all about Jesus, right? Like when Mr. Seiko, sir, when you ask me and you know, in Revelations, you had me on the ropes for a minute. You say, hey, who is the Alpha and Omega? That boy blindsided me, caught me with a good one. But hey, we're gonna go over here to the Tanakh and Isaiah 44, and we gonna see if the Old Testament agree with Jesus being the Alpha and Omega. Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel and his Redeemer. Who's Redeemer? Everybody's Redeemer. Now, He's the God of everybody. No, he's the God of Israel. So you can't make your God everybody's God. He said, Israel have I only have I known, right? He's Israel's redeemer and savior. I am the first and I am the last. And besides me, there is who? Jesus? No, besides me, there is no God, sir. So who is really the Alpha and Omega? Did John make up his own doctrine and revelation? Is he writing in accordance with the Tanakh, with the Old Testament? Does the Old Testament agree with what John said in Revelation? I think not, sir. And you call yourself a pastor. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should return your degree. I guess that's why you just a Facebook pastor.